Hello. 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 I wonder if it can stay. Oh. Hello. Hello. So y'all, my office is a mess. It's a mess. My office is a mess. But I was sent this wig about a month ago. And um I'm not gonna install it. This is not the wig, guys. No, no, no. This is not the wig. This is half, well, some of my hair and some clip-ins, all right? I've been rocking this clip-ins for like two, month or two or something like that. But anyways, I know y'all, my fire alarm, I've changed the batteries. I don't know why it's still beeping. If y'all hear it, I'm so sorry. I'm about to go get the wig, y'all. It's going to be like a good little holiday wig because it's kind of like a reddish color. So y'all just finished going live on Facebook, right? When I go live, I usually go live on all my platforms because it's just too much work trying to... I have two phones. I'm live on this other phone. I wish I could figure out how to be live on this camera. But then it's over. It's going to be over. It's going to be over. What are y'all up to? Mm -hmm. What are y'all up to? What are y'all up to today? I'm like, what you saying ain't true. If men thought this little woman was gay. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm still reading these comments. So, try to finish with install and styling. Depends on how I'm styling. I never do like straight hair. I always put a little curl and a little bounce in it. Okay. Um, it takes about an hour. So if y'all, you know, y'all can kind of slide in and slide out of this live. And well, about an hour, hour and a half, because I'm gonna be talking too. So I don't have anything to do right now. Today is my filming day. I'm going to be filming. So many videos, guys. So if y'all don't already know, I am an Amazon influencer. Okay. So I have shoes, clothes, bags that I bought, hair products, hair tools, makeup, makeup tools on Amazon in the past like six months. I have so much stuff. So much stuff. Um, <laughs> I have so much stuff. So. This channel is going, I'm going to start incorporating more things into this channel. I don't do hair anymore, you guys. I do it optionally. Like, I do it depends on how I feel. So, you're going to get more so hair tutorials that either I choose to do on my friends or my sisters or do hair on myself. But I'm going to incorporate traveling and I'm going to incorporate fashion on this channel, I have so much clothes that before I get rid of a lot of these clothes, I'm going to take pictures in them and I'm going to film them because I got clothes from Shein, Amazon, Fashion Nova, Rainbow, shit, Walmart, <laughs> clothes everywhere. Um, that I want to, and I just give them away to be honest. I don't really sell, sell the clothes because it's just kind of like, mm, let me see. I'm about to see if I can manage this live video right now. What was that? Sixteen of God's post said it's like how he said women need to be careful when they help build up. Oh, huh, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, I'm just I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this post. There's no question how long I need a woman dating man. I want to see if I like it for yeah. Men settle for women. Let me tell y'all what I'm reading really quick. So I made a post. Well, I seen a post earlier on Facebook. If y'all don't follow me on Facebook, my Facebook is London Tay Ways. I'm gonna put my handles in the comments actually right now. 
Chat viewing options. Let me see how can I pin a comment. Right there. How do I comment? I don't know. We're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm going to go live. I'm going to try to go live at least, at least once a week. All right, so hmm, but um, so <laughs> so here are some stuff that I'm going to use. This is going to be glueless. All right, glueless, glueless. Clueless, all right. So I'm about to set my camera up behind me. This is a camera that I film on, okay. But that is going to be set up. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a memory card in it, and then I'm going to to just go ahead and just do both. I'm going to film the wig tutorial, the shortened one. I'm gonna have like a little eight nine minute video of me installing this wig. It's not this wig. But and then I'm gonna have um just a live of so that way people that really want to see the details they can see the details. I'm also gonna have time stamps in this live video so that way you don't have to hear me ramble, ramble, ramble because I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of everything. But you can hear, uh, but you'll be able to kind of still see the details of everything. I'm just trying to figure out how to submit this live on my computer. Okay. So after this, guys, I'm probably going to go to um, Amazon Live. So let me just go ahead and tell y'all. Like I said, I'm going to put all my handles down. Um, I'm about to put all my handles down because I want y'all to follow me on all the platforms. So, like, you're going to get a little bit of different stuff on every platform. On Facebook, it's just more my thoughts you know, my, the realness. Okay. Um, also it's going to get, you're going to get the reels and everything from Instagram. TikTok is just straight up reels from Instagram and TikTok. I mean, Instagram in, uh, well, Instagram mostly. YouTube, you're going to get hair tutorials, mostly just hair tutorials. But like I said, I'm an Amazon influencer. I have been for over a year now and I bought so much stuff on Amazon. And my point of telling y'all this is, I am doing a giveaway to $500 giveaway in, in for Amazon, in for Amazon. I'm giving a two, a 500, two $500 giveaways for Amazon guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. Short ad revenue share will be added to new business. All right. So, um. So yeah, so I'm going to be doing these, and it's gonna be lit. Two five hundred dollars. So last year, guys, I gave away one four hundred dollar gift card, but this time it's gonna be two five hundred dollar gift cards, babe. All right, so. We are going to get started in a minute. Let me just do some, let me see, first of all, let me see if I can do some non-copyrighted music because I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna just sit here, we just been just talking, honey, because. Uh, all right, I found my live really quick, and I'm going to comment. And I'm going to comment. There it is. Dang, why is it and like I'm that? I want it like this. 
Look, this is so funny. All right, hold on. It's an orientation lock. Why am I acting like an old person right now? Like, I don't know. I'm acting like an old person, y'all. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm acting like an old person, y'all. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. My voice echoing. Oh. All right, let me figure it out. Hold on. Maybe I need to stop. Maybe I need to stop going live real quick. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Hmm. What are y'all doing today on this Sunday? Uh, let's see. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I found my live. I'm about to com I'm about to comment and um give y'all like my handles. So Facebook is London Tayway. Y'all should follow me. I'm. A Funny, okay. I like to say that I'm funny. I like to think that I'm funny. Facebook is London Tayways. Oh crap. It's okay. Facebook is London Tayways. Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts, y'all. I have an influencer account. Well, both of them are influencer accounts, but uh, London Tay Tayway. One is like an Instagram of influencer account where it's like pictures. Uh, like little um, reels or me traveling, trying new spots in my city in fashion. And the other Instagram account that I have is uh, a hair one. So y'all should follow on both because I get really good. I feel like I have good content. <laughs> if I should say so myself. All right, let's see. Alrighty. Oh, also, y'all, I'm going back into the corporate world. That's another reason why I don't do hair anymore. All right. So, my Instagram is London Tay's Way. That is my influencer account. And then London, the London Tay is my hair account. Boop. And I also have an Amazon account or whatever like i said i'm gonna go live on amazon and that's just mostly basically going to um show all the stuff i bought on amazon so i bought we all know we all buy everything from amazon girl i bought groceries i bought stuff household stuff furniture um clothes shoes my son's stuff everything love it love it here Okay. All right, so now we are going to boop, boop, boop. All right. Let me see. Install, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm almost done, y'all. I'm sorry, this is taking forever, but I'm almost done. Okay, so I'm linking it into the, in the description box. Right now, all of my handles, I put it in the um, the chat, but I'm going to put it in the description box because a lot of people are not going to be on my live. They're going to see it later. So, yeah. All I can't even spell. I said, stalling this wig from start the finish. Baby, I meant to say to finish. All right, so. Hmm. 
No. Uh. Yeah, let me say that. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, so here we go. I think we I think we good now. I really do. I really do think we good now. Alright, we about to do some non-copyright music, babes. That's what we about to do. Hmm. I like this. Let's see. Because I got to have a little ad. All right. So, <clears throat> hello. Ladies and gents, my name is London Tay. My real name is Taylor. I'm animated, in case you guys don't know. I don't really talk all the time. I do over voiceovers and things like that. But today, we are going live with it. Okay, we vibing. All right, here we go. Let me go. Going live on Instagram too, guys. I saw them this. All right, here we go. We're live. We're live. We're live with it. really just don't like these filters when you go live like it just gets on my nerves i'm about to take this filter off but i don't have a filter on here but i don't understand just just take the filter off it ain't that deep okay i don't got no makeup on i look crazy too all right here we go hmm that's interesting it looks different in that light i look different i look more warmer in this light All right, so like I said, y'all, so here we are. We are live, baby. Live and flush. Oh no, let me go, let me hold, let me hold this. Let me put this over here. yesterday i was not home babe i was not home yesterday oh my god hey guys all of y'all just coming on me all right i'm gonna set this last thing up and y'all i don't have the wig on yet hold on y'all know i'm so bad with texting i'm so sorry all right here we go we gotta turn this light on let there be light Let there be lights. All right, so I'm live on YouTube too. Let me see. Oh. All right, dang, I think that's working. Okay. What's up, Seven? <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, all right, here we go. 
What's up, Izzy? So I'm not talking about the same thing I was talking about over here. This is my hair channel. This is my hair page. So I don't need to talk about hair and do hair up in here. Oh, okay, I think we good. All right, so I got both of my phones set up. I got my camera set up over there. Got my lights, well, only one light on. I'm looking rough, but it's okay. We're going to figure it out. And of course, a car alarm when it goes off. All right, so y'all, I'm about to install a glueless wig live. Because why not? Because why not? All right, I'm just gonna go over here. <clears throat> I should go up live on Amazon, but I don't got a third phone. But yeah, so that's what we about to do. I'm trying to say hey to everybody, what's up? All right. Hey, whoever on live right now, tell me, um, tell me if y'all can hear hear this music. And does it sound loud or is it like low? All right. Are y'all ready for the magic? I don't think y'all really ready. Are y'all ready for the magic? Are y'all ready for the magic that's about to happen today? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a disclaimer. My hair, this is not all my hair. This color is, my hair is the same length as this, but it is not this color, this brown color, and it is not as full. So, men, don't be alarmed because I'm going to take out my clippings in front of y'all because ain't no shame in my game, okay? Because I need to install this wig. So here we go. So clip-ins, guys, in case y'all don't know, this is my hair, right? Clip-ins is literally, I'm gonna show y'all, right here. Boop, look, it's already sliding out. There we go, it's already ready to come out. So it's literally clips. Boop, here you go. This is a clip-in, right? I dyed this, these clip-ins yesterday because I wanted to kind of jazz it up, but it's like, two tracks of hair together. I'm gonna show both of y'all. Show YouTube and then show Instagram. So this is like three clips. You just literally clip it to the root of your hair and it stays. My hair. So y'all, I literally installed my wig. The most laziest way that you can install a wig, I feel like, and it still looks good. Mm -hmm. So let me find something to hold this up because my phone is charging and it won't um stay that way. Put it dryer. Now, not really quick. 
Yeah, why am I struggling so much right now? Trying to rotate this thing. All right, whatever. We about to do it like this. Okay. So, as far as my hair under these wigs, I don't do anything to it. Like I put my hair either ponytail or two ponytails and i call it like that because when it's time to take the wig out i'm not trying to have 30 braids on my head to take out i like my hair to breathe i don't want to do all of that so that is what uh all right me too Y'all, I'm so lazy. Like, I literally, so I think I'm gonna do a middle part, right? With this wig. It's a frontal, so technically I can wear it any way I wanna wear it, right? But I'm gonna wear it down the middle, okay? So, it's, okay, like I said, it's, so just in case Instagram didn't hear me, this is a frontal wig, but I'm gonna wear it in the middle part. So, I'm going to part it down, part my hair down the middle, okay? Everybody see that? So I'm paying attention to this nail that I just took off, or half of y'all, okay? So when I do that, I literally just take my hair and braid it. If you do not know how to braid, baby, twist it. It don't have to be perfect, okay? I took, I put two pigtails in it, like, so lazy. Okay, yeah, all right, that's what we're doing. What are y'all up today, up to today? Are y'all cooking, it's Sunday? Anybody making Sunday dinner? I'm going to dinner tonight, so I'm not cooking. I don't think I cooked all week, actually. Mm-hmm. And I'm proud of myself because I cook a lot. There we go. Okay. One pigtail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show y'all how wigs really look with no filter. <laughs> when you go live, baby, can't nobody say anything because you literally can see it. You literally can see the wig in its natural form. So that way you know how everything's gonna look. Mm-mm-mm. 
All right. Like I said, if y'all don't know how to braid or plait your hair, twist it. Same thing. Y'all do not have to be a pro to know how to do this. I'm telling y'all, it is so simple, so easy. Okay, so like I said, my hair is in two plaits, right? Okay, two plaits. That's where we at with it. That's where we at with it. Okay, that's where we at with it. All right, so next step. This is a frontal wig. Since this is a frontal wig, you're gonna wanna make sure your edges are all back. These are my edges. You do not want to lose your edges, okay? So you are going to, baby, you are going to get like a little brush, a little edge brush, brush something. And you are going to brush everything back. I like to use a little bit of spray, okay? I like to use a little bit of spray. Let me see if I can zoom in closer with this, with this phone. Whatever, maybe I can't. Okay. So I'm gonna use got to be spray, got, got got to be products in general because um other products I use they just don't do it for me. I don't know what it is. Got to be glue got something special. Like they got something special. Okay. So I like to use an edge brush, right? And I like to. Spray it. Spray my edge brush with this got to be spray. I'm weird with smells, y'all. So I like to hold my breath when I have all these interesting smells and stuff because I'm weird with that. Like, I don't like to inhale chemicals and products and stuff like that. Okay, see how I'm just smoothing my edges back. Okay, smooth my edges back. What else I'm about to grab? Alright y'all, so like I said, I'm filming on three places right now. So let's check in with you. Wouldn't want me even now I oh, no. All right, I'm back. Looking like a little boy, but it's okay. It's okay. So y'all, I know I have not been on YouTube often, well lately, but I'm going, I'm coming back y'all, but I'm I'm gonna be a little different than what I used to do. Um, I'm gonna do hair, 
But I'm going to go, I'm going, I'm going, why well, can't talk today? I'm going to go back to doing hair for my, on myself because I don't do hair anymore. I kind of went back to the corporate world, not really because I had to, because I wanted to. So, um, I just need something to challenge me. I graduated in December, 2021. I finally walked last month and it's just kind of like, I just want something different. I'm going to always do YouTube and things like that, but it's just gonna change a little bit, like uh, with me doing so much, like other people, like clients and things like that. Because, and also, like I'm, I'm, I'm why well, I can't talk today, y'all. I'm an Amazon influencer, right? So I work with them a lot, and um, yeah. So it's just don't, I don't be having time. I don't be having time. Okay, so we about to start for real, for real. My video is. Filming, my camera's rolling. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Too loud. Okay, so here are the tools. So my my wig is still drying in the dryer, but here are the tools that I love to use with everything. This Baby Bliss Nano Pro flat iron, y'all. The goats, the goats, the goats. It flat irons any texture, any type of hair texture, any wig. Baby, you name it, it's gonna, it's gonna flatten it out. It gets super, super, super hot. Then it gets up to like 465, which is super hot. Usually 450 is like the flat iron temperatures that it usually go, but yeah. It's kind of pricey, but it lasts forever, y'all. My flat iron before this was a Baby Bliss um, Nano Pro, but it was like the older one, which is like the, the complete blue one. It lasted me four four years five years the only reason why it broke is because i stepped on it mm. so this, this is a flat iron that i'm going to use i don't ever buy curling iron i probably will eventually maybe but i don't really do hair like that so maybe not um and i want to try like the marcel like the good old fashioned hot curlers but i mean i can get barrel curls with a flat iron because i've done it so long this blow dryer say i had this blow dryer for years this is the conair it was dirty it is busted but it gets the job done uh yeah it's just it's the conair ceramic extreme all of this stuff you can buy on amazon all of this stuff is in my amazon store i linked everything in the description box below on instagram look in my bio i'm live on instagram too y'all look in my bio and you'll see an amazon link Store, I'm an Amazon store link that you can click on and you'll see all my hair essentials that I like. All of the stuff that I recommend is proven to work on all textures. Just know that because I used to work on all textured hair. So, yes. Um, this hot comb, I bought this hot comb from the hair store. This is the, I think it's either the Golden Hot or the Andes. Hmm. Which one is it? It doesn't say. But this is years old as well, and this works like a charm as well. I think it's the golden hot one, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think the Andy's um, hot combs that I use, they just, they help stop, they, they, they stop working after eventually. They stop working eventually. So I told you I can't talk today. I keep jumbling over my words. But it goes up to 430 for the temperature, and this shit? If you leave this somewhere, it is going to melt through whatever you leave it on, okay? So make sure you have one of these that it can sit on because it will it will melt through anything. Couches, plastic, probably not metal, but this is like a silicone mat that you put like in flat iron. That flat iron too, it will melt through. 
So these super super hot tools that you have, make sure you put them on like a silicone mat whenever you're not using them because they will leak through. Yes. Um, if I wasn't taking this wig off immediately, I'm taking this wig off right when I put, after I put it on to take some pictures because I personally don't like anything on my head. I don't. I like to feel free. I like to take my wig off every night. Okay, I like to pop it on and take it off. So I don't like really to use glue. I have plenty of videos on how to use, you know, glue on wigs if you want, but I don't like to use glue personally because I just like to take my wig off. Okay, so I know this is super long-winded, but good thing about it is you'll have some timestamps, so that way you can go by, go back and look at it. Okay, so a lot of these wigs, the lace is what makes a difference. So you have HD lace, you have transparent lace, and you have like the regular lace. I don't think they really make super, super rough lace anymore, but make sure you're either getting, if you want super, super good quality, HD lace is probably one of the best qualities you can get right now. I think they say you have like clear lace and all this stuff, but transparent or hd is cool transparent though you will have to color the lace whatever color you are because it is kind of like white lace almost you know it don't have any pigment in it so that's best when you have super 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 light yellow bone light skin babes that would work for them transparent but you can do like light brown lace or hd lace this right here um, this is the Ruby, is this the Ruby Kisses? The Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder Foundation. Okay, see that? See that? Hello. What's up, girl? That is what I like to use. You have powder and then you have like cream. You see how that's pretty close to my skin? You want it close to your skin tone. See that? That is close. Okay, I know it look ashy on camera, but it's close, all right? Okay, so you have the powder ones, and when you rub it in, see that? You rub it in, it kind of just disappears. That's how you know. Okay, um, and then you have like the cream ones. I have a cream one that I'm about to go get too. I personally like to use cream under my lace and powder on top of my lace. Because if you put cream on top of lace, when it mixes with your skin and your makeup, it's going to look really cakey and real nasty, okay? And it's just gonna look a hot mess. So, I told y'all I'm unprepared. This is kind of like a random thing I decided to do, but I've got new radicals enough. Okay, so this under my under the wig y'all under the wig okay hair under the wig all you're gonna do is fold it like this crisscross applesauce like that all right so like i said i showed y'all the powder but here's the cream this cream is a little darker it's more dense this is going to go under the wig, okay? So, it's literally like a cream. This is by, I don't know if it's by Ruby Kisses. I think it's by like Nick K. This is a little darker than my skin. A little redder. I'm more of a clay base. But, it 
all work the same, guys. You know? Look at that. When you blend it in, it's still kind of like, oh, okay. Like, that's cool. A lot of times it's going to be exact, right? It's a little darker than me. I'm more of a yellow tone home now. This is my summer color, but this still will work. We're not going to be too specific here. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all how it still works. I'm going to show y'all. All right. So, now before I install my wig, I'm gonna, like I said, okay, put on your silicone mat because it's going to melt that. Okay, put it to the highest setting. Alright. Alright. So. Oh my god, y'all. I'm gonna ask y'all something. So I've been watching. I've been watching um <clears throat> Manifest season four. It's so good. I don't know what's going on with the season three. It just it didn't do anything for me. That season three just did not do it for me but y'all look 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 how this blend in look look how this blend in with my skin that makeup see that smooth see how that color wasn't perfect but it still melted in the way it was supposed to that's what you need you don't need per perfect colors just get something that's gonna melt the way it should It is almost ready. Oh, and so this wig is from this wig is from United y'all don't already know i'm gonna do this for my youtube because instagram doesn't care and neither does yeah none of that nobody cares about that but um uh oh so you nice i love them like i'm not even gonna lie i've been working with you nice before i even started getting paid with youtube so back in 2017 i was gonna pay like a hundred dollars a month no money but They worked with me, so I signed a contract for a whole year to get free wigs. Who didn't want that? To get free wigs, free wigs, and that's what I got, and it was lovely. So they always had really, really good. Um, they always had really, really good hair. Okay, came with a little wig cap, which I may use. Came with a band. I love bands. You need that. You need that. Okay. I think we back. Got my life situated now. Okay. Wow. Hmm. 
these are like a stocking cap wig caps. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. See-through wig caps. Look at that. I'm here for it. But anyways, I'm not even going to use it because I'm doing mine glueless. So I'm just going to fold my hair behind um, it. It doesn't matter if this braid is coming. It's going to be coming loose. It's going to be under this. Okay? Let me go back going live on Facebook. Right here. All right, so here we go. Here we go, y'all. Took a good 30 minutes to an hour to get my life together, but we're getting it together. That's one thing about going live. When you're all like pre-filming and you're editing, it doesn't matter. But like, yeah, let me see. zoom in but I can't all right so like I said if you're just now joining this is how we about to do it okay so got to be glue spray we are going to spray the this and spray the part with it okay do a little bit of heat just to kind of dry everything push all everything back or out the way Hey. I hope y'all can still hear me. Okay, so you see how you want to make sure everything is out of the way, y'all. Everything. Like, you got to spray a little bit of that got to be glue spray. And just brush it. Do that. But make sure your edges are out the way. This is glueless, y'all. This is going to be glueless. This is a glueless wig, but it really is like I'm still not gonna use any glue. I only use got to be glue spray anyway for stuff because I like to take my wigs off every day. All right, so let's brush the other side. Okay. And kind of makes you still have that little clear line where that part's gonna be. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we are. Okay. All right. So here we are. So this is the, the, the wig cap that I'm using. Like I said, this is a completely different wig cap than normal. So I'm recording on YouTube with two different devices and I'm recording on Facebook. So if I'm not looking directly at you at the moment, it's three different devices going on, right? So you nice you nice sent me this wig over a month ago. I was been supposed to film it. Um but why not today? So like I said. So this is the wig cap that came with it. They gave me four different wig caps. It looks like a stocking. See how stretchy it is and see how see-through it is. But it's not like the typical wig caps you buy from the hair store. So I'm just gonna get my hair, my pigtails, and I'm just gonna kind of fold them on top of each other and just kind of tuck them. It don't have to be perfect, huh? 
You hear me? It don't have to be perfect. Just get it in there. Just get it in there. Okay? Now, I like to put it all the way on like this. Dang, should I glue it? Should I, uh, should I use a stocking cap and keep it? Look how thin it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like that. Should I? Dang, y'all, I think I may. I may keep this stocking cap on. I'm not going to lie. I usually don't even wear stocking caps. That's what's so funny. Okay. I think I'm going to keep it on. So once you do that, you're gonna get like a little, little rat tail comb. Lift it up a little bit and make sure everything is out the way. Push everything back. And I know y'all can watch this stuff like on YouTube, but it's a little different when you when you're going live because you can ask questions if need be you know i did take two lace front classes like a couple years ago i think they were super helpful but to be honest it's all practice it don't matter it don't matter how many classes you take you're still gonna have to practice it on your own all right now that that's kind of already down i'm gonna use a little bit of got to be glue spray and i'm gonna it's not glue y'all it's literally just really really strong hairspray but um and that's how I'm going to mold it. Some people like to cut where the ear is. You can do that too, but it is what it is. Spray the hairline or a little above it, a little in front of it, I meant. And then use the heat. Yeah. Okay. If it runs other places, press it into that spot. Because wherever it runs, that's where it's going to stick. Okay? Just be mindful of that. I like that to be glue spray because it dries really, really quick. And so, y'all, I'm going live on YouTube and things to have it where I can like set up like a membership and just go live for people that are subscribed to the membership because everybody wants wasting everybody's time <laughs> you know but we gonna still do it so I'm just gonna do a membership where I do live tutorials like you know, all of us it just kind of the hair because you know I don't do the cut of hair anymore. Because that's just how I really want to do this to And I'm going to give it to y'all. Or I really could just go live and you know, it doesn't really matter to me. Alright, so you do the first side and you do the second side. And you just kind of run it along your hairline a little above it too until it's all dry this is the boring part now this whole time i have this hot comb that's on that is ready ready to be used okay i feel like use a hot comb no matter if you haven't no matter if you have um straight or curly hair because it's, it just kind of mold everything the way you want it to go you know so this wig that you knife gave me i think it's ready I might grab it but um it's an aerodynamic wig so it's kind of like a very airy flowy wig you know how wigs just have that thick cap under it and it's kind of high and things like that it's like you can't breathe it's unbreathable they got the new wigs where you can breathe through it and it's like all these different air pockets where all the kind of ventilation can kind of, you know, stream in and stream out. If you sweat and it ain't stuck under your wig, it kind of just like flows out of the out of the wig. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like super, super hot and suffocating under the wig. 
I like that. They also have the wigs now where they've already cut the lace off. Mm, not really a big fan of that, but I see how it can help people that don't really feel like doing it or know how to kind of cut all the lace off. Um, yeah, but I kind of like control of cutting my lace off because sometimes I want less lace. Sometimes I want more lace. All right, so this is basically dry. If it's not dry, I'll show you how to fix it. That's the point of going live because when you look at the tutorials, you be getting it wrong sometimes and you can't ask a question. You ask the question after the person will upload a video. So it's like, dang, I kind of had a question, but can't even ask you, girl, because you upload this tutorial. Here you go. <laughs> And now you you probably not even gonna see it, which is why I think it's good to go live. All right, I'm just looking for something to cut it off. Now you can cut off a scissors. I'm just gonna cut off with scissors. Why not? You can cut off with scissors, or you can cut it off with um a razor. Now we're just gonna see if it's dry. Mhm. Mm All right. Something dry. You can start off down here. Okay. If need be, cut more. Boop. All right. There we go. All I use a got to be glue spray, y'all. So here we are. Any of the parts where it's sticking up, I'm gonna mold. So I'm gonna use this got to be glue spray again. I'm gonna just spray it on this little de this desk in front of me, okay? And I'm going to press it inside of the cap that that hasn't been molded all the way, like right there, you know. That's how we about to do it, okay? We're gonna mold it and we're gonna melt it. This is gonna be glueless. Well, I'm gonna use this guy to be glue spray, y'all. And I'm use, I'm gonna use a rat tail comb and I'm gonna press into it that. Do it in sections. See that? See how it's kind of like disappearing? That's what you want, okay? And you're just gonna keep on doing that. Parts that you need to cut off, like I can cut this. Let's see, I'm turn this over. Everybody about to be real close in person. Oh! And they got no um uh, everything dropping today, but it's okay. We're gonna figure it out. Okay, here we go. So this hasn't been molded. So what we're gonna do is we're going to what? Mold it, okay? Press it, press it. See how it's folding under there? You don't want that. We don't want that. Press it, okay? Anything that has, is not molded, you're gonna cut it off. We ain't even gonna worry about it. Just cut it off. So you see how I'm molding this part, but this part where the comb is, isn't molded. You're going to cut that off. Because we don't need it. All right. I usually use a razor, but we're going to use a, a, um, some scissors today. All right, here we go. Boop. Cut it off. Okay. So this is lighter than my hair. I'm gonna show y'all how to blend everything. I'm telling y'all, like we about to be real detailed today. We're gonna be real detailed. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off. 
This is my next section. Okay. I didn't mold my edges right, but it's okay. Like, I'm not even going to try to be perfect today because you don't know why. When y'all install y'all wigs, y'all don't be perfect. We're just going to be real with it. We're going to be real with it. And I'm going to show y'all, like, when I mess up on something, how to fix it. Because people be acting like they don't want to tell you everything. Okay. Here we go. Push that back. Okay, push that back. We're gonna respray. All of this extra stuff that's behind the palm is going to get cut off. It's gonna get cut off. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get cut Hey everybody, everybody that's joining. Okay. Everybody that's joined us learn something today. If y'all if YouTube ain't already to teach y'all, I'm gonna teach y'all today. Okay. So we're just gonna keep on. So you wanna always to me, what's easier than me is always start like in front of the hairline just in case you cut too much lace off because you can't replace it when you cut it off i always start past my hairline like i said and you can just cut as time go by is it tedious yes it is tedious but you know it's up to you how you want to look Mm-hmm. There you go. And Vanessa, you don't even have to be honest. I never really wear wig caps. I'm not even going to hold you. Never wear wig caps, right? But you nice literally gave me this stocking cap wig cap. And y'all, look at this. Love it here. Got to put it on. All right, so if y'all didn't already see my other video when I was talking my other live, I was talking about the creams that I use. You can buy this from the hair store, right? This is what you're going to use to blend in laces and to blend in the edges of wig caps, okay? When it's like this, it's not all the way um, molded, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like when it's like this, you are going to want to make sure that you are blending everything in because it will have that little white cast and that's not what we want. We don't want that. So let's see, this is a little bit darker than me and this is a cream and this is a little bit, this is a little bit, this is a little bit lighter than me, right? But when you blend it in, when you put it on, see how that looks kind of white right here? But when you blend it in, it blends. Right? Okay. Mm. So, and with this, this is like a little bit darker than me. It's like a, see that? I see that. But, same. When you put it on and you blend it, it blends out. So, I'm going to use, let's see. Let's just try it. I'm going to use this dark one on me. Right? I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get like a little brush. I'm going to get a little bit of brush. Like a little brush. And get that little cream. And just dab. Right? Let's just see. See how easy, how good it blends in. Try to kind of concentrate it on the edges. Like I said, if I mess up on camera, I'm going to show you how to fix it. That's the beauty of a live right there. That's what it's for. Okay. But y'all see how it's starting to add that color on the edges? That's what you want. 
I'm impatient though, y'all. So that's why I'm doing it right now. Cause who got time for all that? This needs to be molded. So I'm just gonna get it, dab it where the edge is at. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Okay, boom, done for the most part. Wipe it off your hands. So did y'all see what color I'm doing? I am going to do, let's see, is this all, all the way molded? And just follow your hairline. Like my hairline has a dip right there and then it kind of goes out like this and it goes back in. So just follow your hairline. I'm using y'all as a mirror today because I don't got no mirror up in here. All right, you see how it kind of comes back down? Mold that. Mold it. Hey, Lauren, baby. What you cooking today, Lauren? Oh my God, are you all excited about Thanksgiving? I feel like it actually feels like Thanksgiving this year. I feel like the last couple years, it just didn't really feel like Thanksgiving, but now it's starting to feel a little bit more like Thanksgiving for some reason. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Here we go. Forever. Like those little 10 minute videos that y'all be watching, baby, take longer than 10 minutes. I'll tell y'all right now. And I'm impatient, so I be trying to take shortcuts. <laughs> this gonna do it right now. Whatever. We're gonna leave it the way it is. Hold on. Oh. All right, y'all, here we go. I'm gonna show y'all how y'all can shortcut stuff. and Y'all have to do stuff perfect and it's still gonna be cute, okay? This is the wig, guys. Mm-hmm. This is she. This is her in all her glory, okay? This is a frontal wig, okay? Frontal wig. It's called, what a, I think it's called like an air wig or something like that. I can't remember, but I have to go back to what you nice said. But like I said, they sent me this wig. Um, you know how wigs just be solid right there, like a just a big cap? You see how it has all those lines in between and things like that? It's supposed to like be like a, um, it's called an air wig. Where like, you see how you can kind of go through like that? Where if you're sweating and all that stuff, like it's not gonna affect it. It's not gonna be affected by it. You're supposed to wear this glueless because that's why it comes with this band, okay? So what we're gonna do right now, before anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and just try it on. Now this wig also came pre-cut, which is like, I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but I don't really like it coming pre-cut, but we're gonna, we gonna thug it out. So I'm gonna put the band on first. And flip it over. Woo! Here we go. Okay. I'm looking real crazy. Uh, so a lot of ways come with these side combs. I don't like them. A lot of times I cut the side combs out. But we're going to see. Okay. This is how everything's looking right now. I look crazy. But I'm pretty sure y'all home, y'all be feeling the same way. Like, how is this about to work? Oh, see how that comb keeps sticking out right there? Fold it back or cut it off, either one. So what? I, okay, so you see how this wig is fitting? It's not perfect. It's a little tight. Um, yeah. But you know, most wigs ain't perfect when you get them. Like, unless you get in like customized. Is this my favorite wig? No, it's my first time wearing it. Um, I like really, really deep parts. And this doesn't have a really deep part. But it's cool. There we go. See, I like my fitting kind of like right there. See how you line that up? But see how the side 
parte right here. We're gonna figure that out. Okay. Okay. But like I said, you see this? So I did bleach the knots. When I originally put it on, I didn't bleach the knots and it looked crazy. And I was like, mm, I don't like all this black. All right, so here we go. Now, it will look a lot different if I didn't bleach the knots. Because it's just, you know, the companies, they be trying to help you out, but they don't really be knowing what to do with no wig, honey, okay? All right, you see how it, all, it looks wiggy. So the key to wigs, what I've learned, to make it look natural, is to push it away from your face and make the roots flat. That is literally the number one key to a natural looking wig, okay? I, I'm actually gonna keep it down the middle, and the reason why I'm gonna do that, because this is not a deep wig. Like, it's not a deep part wig, you know? It's just not. So you see how it's glueless. So you see how I honestly can keep it like this, just style it and mold it and it'll be fine. I still like my wings to go away from my face. That's just what I like. Like this makes my forehead look small. Don't like it. We ain't, we ain't about to go for that. So, no, I like everything to go up and away. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like it. So that's what a hot comb is for. Would you see that? Don't like that. I'm, pro I'm probably about to cut it, to be honest. I'm about to cut it. Alrighty, here we go. We are back. Okay. Okay, so I'm using y'all as a mirror. So, so we cutting some of this lace off. I highly recommend using a razor in this part, but whatever. We're gonna we're gonna go. We got here we go. Okay. I'll cut some of it. Here we go. Okay. I can go with that a little bit. Okay. I may actually keep this wig on tonight. I'm going to dinner, y'all. I'm gonna look like somebody different. Okay, let me just go and look like somebody different tonight. <laughs> jazz it up okay detangle it i think i may put some wine curls i think it's gonna be real fly if i take my time and put wine curls in this thing i have it molded and it's gonna be real cute and it's super long too but it's super super flat before i even do anything okay here we go so now it's detangled Push it out the way. Slide it here. Now, if the wig fits too snug, you can always um, like loosen it up in the back because it has that elastic band. Woo! Okay. Okay, so here we go. See how I just did that? That blends in. Now, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all know how close your wigs are? When it comes to like a glueless wig, you can always just wear it in this one part and not do anything to this. You get what I'm saying? Like, since it's a color, your edges are not gonna match with it if you have black hair. But, like usually for glueless wigs, I don't put anything on it, but I don't like do a whole like wig cap either, you know? So, here we are. Okay? This is the key, y'all. This is the key! This is literally the key. Where is it? Where is it? Hot comb them edges. Hot comb them roots. That is literally the key to having a natural looking wig. Uh, I just hate having. I hate that my room is just so far from in here from my office. Now I gotta go back and get it. 
Oh y'all, y'all, you need you nice hair. They come with they always they come with like robes. They be sending me robes. Little cute little bonnet that match my robe. I'm real cute going to sleep, okay? Also, this is a key too, y'all. This is like a um a melt band. So you are literally going to do that on your edges when you are done. And it's going to keep everything good and molded. And when everything is dry, everything's going to be good and molded. Okay? So I'm going to use... I know I look busted right now, y'all. But I'm going to look cute later. Okay? This one. What if your head is too small? Do you have that's what elastic bands are for? So, like a lot of people have room in the back, okay? Unless you get like a um okay, so let me go ahead and just tell you something. If you're ordering a wig, a lot of wigs come in different sizes, so they'll come like small, medium, and largest. A lot of times if you have a small head, get small. So that way it'll fit a lot better. You know what I'm saying? It'll fit a lot better. I usually get a medium. When I have a large, I mean, you're just gonna have that room in the back. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're gonna have like, you know that extra little room in the back, but get an elastic band so that way the front and at least the middle can fit. All right, y'all, here we go. Wax sticks are important, okay? You talking about your hairline or the wig hairline? Okay, here we go. Start molding the roots down, babes. Do not be afraid of a hot comb. It is your friend. Okay. So you see how it's starting to look now? When it has that, that body at the root, it just don't look natural. I just don't. These sides, like I said, don't worry about them right now. know what, what kind of lace is this but you see i it's just it's glueless i haven't mowed anything down this is my wig cap see don't fit but we're gonna i'm gonna show i'm gonna show y'all we're gonna find a solution because i know y'all be having this issue too okay Casually 
mean, let me tell you what I do when my wig is too big, like real big. Let me be honest with you, I cut all that shit off. Like, if my wig is too small, I mean too big, I would cut it off. Like, let's say my wig fit right here and fit right here, but it don't fit like right there. I will pull it it's in, and see where it stops at, take it off and cut those rest of those tracks off. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what I would do. Cut the rest of those tracks off and just restitch a um, comb in the back. Like, who cares? No one's gonna see that. Like, anytime any of my wigs were too big, I just would cut off like that much of the back off because it'd be real, real big. Yeah, who gonna know? Who gonna know? Nobody don't need to be in the back of your head anyway. All right, I'm gonna mold this wig down, I think. Let me see. Pull my ear out. Pull my ear out. Okay. I will cut it off. <laughs> cut my faux tracks off, you'll be okay. Save the hair if you wanna save the hair and, and glue it with hair glue. Glue the tracks in between the tracks. And just put the hair that you lost back in if you don't know how to like stitch and stuff. All right, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna do this side. Boop, right there. Cause I know, like the reason I said it's because, like, cause I had this curly wig that was too big in the back, and I cut like so much of the hair off, and then the hair looked thin. So what I did was I just took it off the track, cut it off the track. You know, you have those little threads that's on the track. Cut off the track, and, and I didn't feel like sewing it, so I just glued it, like hair glued it or glued it, whatever. You super glue if you want to, but I just like did hair glue, that little um, that black hair glue, and just glued it in between the tracks when it was too big. All right, I'm about to, like I said, I'm about to mold everything. Now, let me tell y'all, this is an air wig. This is supposed to be 100% glueless. This is supposed to be where, you know, you don't have to do the most. Other frontals that I have, they have a lot of frontal. They have the lace and everything, which I'm pretty sure y'all have too. But these are the newest wig. It was already cut. So, I have to adjust it with how I have it, you know? You're supposed to kind of wear it like a closure wig, but yeah. Okay. So like, let me show y'all, where is it? So this is how we got to do it. Okay, see how it doesn't really fit on the sides? This is what we got to do. Pull some baby hair out. I ain't gonna make y'all laugh hard. I'm gonna show y'all. Boop, you see that? Pull it out. These are not gonna be the baby hairs, y'all. So don't you think. Don't think. We ain't about to we ain't about to do you like that. We ain't about to do you like that. But okay, so and that red spot, that's because I bleached it. I had bleached it, and so the hair turned out red. It's cool. No one's going to see it. It ain't that deep. But I always fix it, too. Okay, so you see how it's like that? That's how I get the size to fit. Hold it. You welcome, baby. All right, see that? All right. Uh, okay, okay. Now, remember y'all, I did not put any color under this wig, right? First, I'm checking to see if I even need it first. I think I do a little bit. Okay, so what I'm what I'm trying to show y'all is I'm gonna pull 
both sides down to fit my head like that. Okay? But before I do that, I am gonna put a little bit of color. Just dab it in there. Okay. And when it's transparent lace, you can use a color that's a little darker than you to help blend. Okay. I'm only gonna wear a middle part with this hair, I know for a fact, because it just doesn't have this, this wig. You know, these a lot of these wigs don't come perfect. Like, you have to just adjust. This wig doesn't have a lot of parting space. So that means I can't really wear I mean, I can wear it to the side with a side part, but I won't recommend. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna braid it out the way. Mm-hmm. Braid out the way. And I did pluck it a little bit. I'll put this wig off camera. This is my first time using it though, as you can see. Um, it's not my favorite, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because of this parting space, it only has like this much lace on this side, and like that much lace in the back. I like a lot of parting space. I like really deep parts. Like I like a 13 by six. This is like a 13 by four. And it's like 13 by four, and it's like 13 by two on the sides, you know, so it's not all the way four. This is see how like I like my parts to go like all the way back here but i'm not gonna lie but it's okay we can do that but yeah when i do like this this gives me control of the sides right so this is how everything looks right it gives me control on the sides don't pull too tight you're gonna rip it but yeah so this is what we're about to do okay mm, do i need some spraying let's see
spread it, press it. Okay, get one of these bands. This is the number, y'all. This is so important. Y'all just don't understand. Putting this band on? It would take a normal wig to perfection. Because the key to a natural looking wig is for everything to be flat. Right, here we go. All right, so after you do this, you're gonna let it dry. It's probably gonna take like 10 minutes to dry. So what I'm about to do is, I'm about to wand curl it. I think I'm a wand curl. That's, uh, that's, that's what I'm going for, okay? I'm going for a wand curl look, okay? That's what we gonna do. So long, it's like a vivacious color. We gonna go for a, a, a wand curl. And try to do styles that look good. Yeah. Try to go with um a style that looks good with your head. Like I have a long head, <laughs> a very narrow head. So like I'm gonna push it back just to mold everything, but I'm not gonna keep it pushed back because I look very I look like my chin is super long and my like hair is down the middle and pushed back. So my everything looks better when it's kind of like pushed back a little bit, but still like follows in my face. Y'all get what I'm saying? Just go, you have to remember what looks good on you too because it doesn't look good on everybody. Everything doesn't look good on every everybody. So I wish I had a mirror like in front of me so I can like really, really see what I'm doing, but it's okay. Also, if you see that something looks too thick, then tweeze it. If the hairline looks too thick, tweeze it. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. All right, y'all, so we are back close with it. So if you have missed it, all I did was install it. This is supposed to be glueless, which it is glueless, technically. I just put a little bit of um, hairspray, that's it. So like right here is like the, the part area. A lot of people try to get that part area super, super clean. Right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder and then like a little skinny little brush. And I'm just going to dab. I'm going to dab that and make it cleaner. Okay. Make it more visible. All right, all right, all right. See how that's kind of like just making it pop? Mm-hmm. That's it. Nothing crazy. You can always just keep on going back and reef, you know, flatten in the area. Mm -hmm. Where's that track right there? Fix that too. Here we go. See how the key is to make sure that the roots are flat. 
That's the key. Oh no, y'all. <laughs> I just feel like it's not all the way in the middle. Do y'all feel like that too? I'm tired and I'm hungry. All right, let's see. Let's get another, let's see. Let me see something real quick. Um, so this is how you make sure it's in the middle. The middle of your nose is your middle. Okay, here we go. Now, see how it doesn't look like straight anymore? Just straighten it up. You don't need to pluck nothing. And then you're just gonna go back into that same powder and just re, re line that up. This is a powder, y'all, by the way. I have to make sure it's in the middle. I hate when you be having like those off center middle parts. I'll um, put some more later, later if need be. Okay. But yeah, so like I said, we are doing wine curls. <sighs> so here. <laughs> this is so funny. People are so funny. All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We bet, 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 All right. Whew. After this, I have to take a shower. I'm getting my life to go. Okay, here we go. Look at this wig and all this glory. A lot of hair. So, gonna detangle it. Ooh. And since I'm gonna curl it anyway, I'm not gonna straighten it first. I'm just gonna go in. I think this is 24 inches. I don't know. I told them when they sent this wig to me, I told them to give me the longest hair. <laughs> Because I wanted something to work with. Look, look at all this hair. Whoa. This is cute though. It's a really nice fall color. Don't y'all agree? So cute. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, cause I always like layers and everything that I do, okay? I'm gonna just do some really quick layers. Get a look, a little razor, which you can get from the hair store or whatever. And just slide. Oop. Got my chair gone. And just keep on doing that. So I get some layers. Cause like when you curl it and you don't have layers, I just feel like it looks weird. 
you just keep on sliding down. You just keep on sliding down. There we go. Now, as you wind curl it, as you curl your hair and you see that you need to add more layers, just add more layers. Here we go. I'm going to dinner tonight. Where y'all think I'm going? I've never been. It's downtown. I'll go live one day. Well, nah, because that's a danger. I will let y'all know where I went after I go. I'm going to create a reel, though, because you know your girl going to create a reel. this hair this is some really good concentrated serum i use this on my natural hair too i like it get them ends because them ends are so dry and this is going to add the moisture back to this hair mm. all right now we're about to wind curl Y'all, this is how long it's be taking. I ain't even gonna hold you. So, the front, like I said, with my, for me, middle parts, the front is gonna be smaller pieces. When I get started getting to the back, I'm going to be lazy and I'm not gonna do them as small because I mean, you don't really need it either. So, I'm not gonna do away from the face or towards the face. I always do everything away from the face, so let's just go ahead and keep doing that. And when I do wand curls, I don't like for it to start high. I like for it to start like right there. So you're gonna wrap it and, tw and twist your wrist. Wrap, twist, wrap, twist. Okay. And one thing I really like about wand curls is when they drop, they just look like really big waves. It's so pretty. All right, and I just like hold it, and here we are. Really, 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 really cute. Hold on, quick, y'all. Okay. Still thugging with me? All right, get the next piece. Shout out to y'all that's still do here, honey. Cause, whoo, it's a lot. I'm sweating. It's on my own here. Couple more seconds, and then we are going to take it off. I like to pull the ends and just let it do what it do, like that. This, I'm gonna start splitting the pieces, half and half right there. Hold it down like this. All right, and then start like right here.
go. There we go. We are making progress. Okay. Slow but steady wins the race. And don't ever mess with curls when they're still um, hot. Just let them set. Let them cool down. Let them do what they're going to do. Y'all, isn't this so pretty? This color. Everything. So wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist, wrap, twist. And there you go. We go. Oh, this is about to be ah! This is about to be cute. This is about to be so cute. If I ever get finished with it. <laughs> Dang. Look, I'll be like, how can I do a shortcut? even know what what color is this y'all because it's kind of like a wine red mixed with like some type of burnt with some type of orange i'm not really like a rust just like a rust color is it a copper in person it looks red i'm gonna be honest with y'all on camera i don't know if it looks red it looks kind of orange on camera I think I look this. Is this on? Yeah, it ain't even on. I'm like, why is it so cool? I must have shut it off by accident. As you can see, look, this one, it wasn't on like that. It was pulling down. I could have left this on a little bit longer, but it's okay. What is that? My earring? Yep. Okay. Start over right here. Wild curls at Bell. May really take forever. 
Do y'all be sweating when y'all be doing your hair? Because I sure do. So I'm curling everything away from my face. Mm-hmm. Curling everything away from my face. I've been going live since, what time is it? I've been going live since like for two hours now. Okay, like two hours. Okay, so we are going to finish. Cause I'm going to dinner at six o'clock and I'm still gonna do my makeup. And I just really wanna look really, really, really pretty. For dinner and that's where I'm at with it. My arm burn. <laughs> My arm burn. Look, I look real frumpy. I look sad. <laughs> oh. But we gon' proceed to give y'all what y'all need. Gonna show y'all these wine curls because I'm dedicated. I already graduated. All right, let's see. Here we go. We are at it. Put a little bit of the hats. Here we go. Point it down. Point it down. Love, we got love, love. Don't give me that. Make sure y'all are thumbs up this video if y'all are on YouTube. Oh, I got something for y'all. Everybody that's on YouTube, comment below what your um birthday is i want to know if anybody is an aries or i want to know are y'all any of my friends signs okay let's see all right all right we are moving along making some progress here oh don't touch it while it is hot Oh. Oh, 
so hot. Here we go. Ooh, here we go. Keep it up there. Keep it up there. Okay. No. We got. All right, we are about to get off of Facebook. Hello, is this Facebook? Yeah, I got Facebook. And we are about to move on to Amazon Live, baby. We are live with it. Okay. Here we go. So y'all, if y'all don't follow me on Amazon, follow me on Amazon. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm about to give away two $500 Amazon gift giveaways, gift cards. I am going to announce the winner on December the 1st. So tomorrow I am going to put all the instructions on how you win. Um, yeah, so make sure y'all make sure y'all are following if y'all look at my description box that is all of my links and everything yeah so here we go i'm about to go live make sure y'all are tuning in because i am going to be live Quite a lot, do all wines right there. So this wine curler, I got sent this wine curler. Um, it's actually on Amazon, and that's what I'm about to link it to. Okay, I might link it to Amazon, my Amazon store, and um, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. I'm about to take a thumbnail pic. Here we go. Alrighty. And we're about to upload it. So y'all haven't been on Amazon Live in a while. I look crazy. Let's read you. Okay. Make sure y'all are following me on Amazon. Like I said, I'm doing a giveaway. Here we go. If you new, join the squad, subscribe to my channel. Y'all, how do I, um, I'm trying to rotate. I'm trying to rotate my, uh, thing. 
orientation. Uh, uh-huh, yeah, okay. I'm about to freestyle on this beat, you hear me? Da -da. What is it, y'all? How do I do it? Well, it don't matter, cause it ain't gonna work anyway. Let's see. Orientation on iPhone. Like I said, subscribe to my Amazon, you guys. Doing a $500 giveaway. This week, the winners will be announced on December the 1st, which was which is what, next week? Hey, is December the 1st next week? Dang, that is so crazy. That is so freaking crazy. Like, wow. This year, man. This year is crazy. Swipe down on the right side of your screen. Open up control. Oh, it was locked. Okay, we in there now. We in there now. We in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We in there now. Baby girl, we in there now. All right. All right, we are about to finish wild curling this week, okay? I haven't been live on Amazon in a long time, baby, but we about to go live. That ain't sound right, but it's okay, though. All right, I want some mayo. All right, here we go. Oh, I like this. Y'all hear this? Don't mess with any of the curls until ah. until you're finished. Let me see if I can add some. Oh, let me see if I can add some more stuff to this Amazon Live because oh, well, it don't matter because I'm featuring this one curl. So that's what we about to. All right, so, whoo, y'all, I have to take this, this, this band off. It is so hot. Ooh. That's what the band was doing. The band was melting, babes. Oh, y'all got to jam to this real quick. Alrighty, 
here we are. Here we go. Progress. Let me redo this one. So I like to do 30 seconds. I hope y'all can hear me about that music. All those people, everybody that's on Amazon Live, hey girl, hey, hey man, hey, whatever you like to call yourself, hey. I am doing a $500 to $500 Amazon gift card giveaways. Going to post it on my Instagram channel. Same for YouTube. I'm going to post it on my Instagram channel, my Instagram pages. I'm going to post it on both of them. All the giveaway rules. Okay. And I'm going to announce the winner on December the 1st. And we are almost done. We got another hmm, six, seven minutes of wound curling. Also with the wild curls, you can always spray a little bit of hairspray to keep the curls if you want them this way. Okay, just a little bit or a little bit of like light holding spritz. Like I said, just a little bit. Just a touch of love, just a little bit. I wish I could dance, y'all, the way those people like, I was looking at this girl, I can't remember what her Instagram handle is, but she was dancing, you know how they do like little hip hop dances, and she just so fluid with her feet, like, I have two little feet, I can move my little booty a little bit, but I can't, <laughs> I cannot like do that little footwork, I can't do no choreography, babe, because I'm going to trip up. I'm gonna trip up if I do any, if I try to do any type of choreography. It's embarrassing. Cause I always tell people like, I got a skill, babe. I can do hair, I can learn things, but I don't know something about choreography. Like maybe if I like take a dance class and actually like take it like real serious, I, I don't know how to do it, but like, I just. Oh, y'all look, guess what? So guess what? Guess what I am currently learning how to do. So I can't, like I said, I can't do choreography or nothing like that. But guess what I am learning how to do? I am learning how to like rollerblade. Now I know how to like rollerblade and go around the turns, you know, and not fall and stuff like that. Oh crap! I messed up. So when you mess up like this, y'all just continue wrap it back around so when i'm wrapping i'm wrapping and i'm rotating now i have about three wine curlers but y'all this is my favorite so that's why i linked it on amazon he is my favorite i do like 30 seconds per wine curl and all those straight pieces at the front that is just like the extra hairs that i pull out on the side to get a good fit for it. All right, here we are. Let it be. Here we go. Let it be. Just let it hang. Okay, we are just moving along. Just like fine, China. 
And the hot comb and the flat iron, you can buy on Amazon too. Let me figure out a way to add those links to to everything. Oh, you know what? Since I'm um, after this live is done, everything that I use to put this wig on and style this wig, I'm gonna put it in the product rotation down below on Amazon. Had to let go for a minute. But it's okay. We're gonna just kinda go back to it. Alright, here we go. Don't worry about it, let it be. But what's up, Amazon? Like, I know I haven't been on in so long, but I am back. And I am back at the perfect time because it is about to be Black Friday. And like I said, if you're just not joining, I am doing two $500 Amazon gift card giveaways. Yes, it is legit. No scam, baby. It's legit. It's legit. And those on YouTube, go ahead and follow my Amazon page. It is in the description box of this live video. It's sliding, but I'm still holding on with a little string. Y'all see that? Ah! No, there it is. Everyone is eligible. Everyone is eligible. If you use Amazon, you are eligible. I don't care if you're in South Africa. If you're able to use Amazon in South Africa, then you are eligible, babe. So I think last, last, when did I do it? Did I do it last year? No. I did an Amazon gift card giveaway. What did I do it? Was it last year? Or was it like doing, doing like this year, the winter? This has been a freaking long year. Do y'all think? Like it's been short, but it's been long at the same time. So a lot of stuff that I did, I thought it was last year, but it was this year. I was like, dang. Here we go. We are all out by myself. We are almost done. I am gonna come back and show y'all the finish, like the finish results. Ooh. Hold on. Uh, I don't like that. Let me put this on for like one good minute. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm going to, um, after I'm done with wild curling my hair, I'm gonna put two bonnets on it and a shower cap, get in the shower, get dressed, and come back and finish going live to show y'all how the end result look. Okay, cause I know y'all wanna know. But yeah, um, the details of this, Wine curler. It's crazy because when I got this wine curler, when you buy it online, it talks about it being like $80 or $100, but it is $29.99 right now on Amazon. $29. $29. $29. That's insane. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, y'all. Here we are right here. Here we are. Everything looks small and still, but it's okay. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of got to be spray. 
that smells like alcohol. But I'm sure it is. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna be back, like I said, and I'm going to, when I'm ready, I'm gonna come back and show y'all how everything looks. But look how flat the install is with just a little bit of got to be glue spray in this melt band. You get super, super, super flat results, babe. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of this, okay, so right here is my edges that I have not yet styled. I'm not gonna do it until I am completely, completely done, okay? Just go ahead and take that into consideration. And like I said, I will be back. I'm gonna get off live with YouTube, but I am. But I'm going to. All right, Amazon, I will talk to y'all a little later. Be back. Let's see.